I'm Dominique Lay, your neighborhood reporter in Waco. I drive down 18th Street about three to four times a week. And if you do too, you've probably wondered what is all this construction and why is it even happening? Well, I asked so you don't have to. And how often do you take 18th Street? Uh, pretty much every day. Yeah. And every day is different. Yeah, every day is different. Andy Craps lives on Sanger Avenue near downtown Waco, and he drives down 18th Street more times than he'd like. That's because of the ever-changing construction. You definitely got to keep your head on a swivel because it'll be one one day all the cones will be lined up and they're digging up the side of the road and then the next day they're digging the other side of the road. Those cones and dug up roadway from Bosky Boulevard to Waco Drive are a part of the 18th Street utility project. It's all a part of the city's plan to repair utilities and change some underground infrastructure in our area. They're going to try to repair the entire surface of the road and then the idea behind doing the utility work at the same time is we won't have to go into that brand new road to do repair. In addition to a new paved road, we'll see sidewalks and a bike lane. How often are you riding your bike down this area? Right Every here? day. Every day? Every day. Wow. Johnny Dell Birchers avoids going down 18th Street because he thinks it's dangerous. But he says with the bike lane, that could change. Do you think that after this construction is finished and the bike lanes are added, you'll be able to take the street more often? Yes. Yeah. Be more safer. Jessica Emmett Sellers with the city tells me Waco's increasing population plays a huge part in changing the city's infrastructure. Everybody that's moving to town needs to have water, needs to have sewer, needs to have, you know, utilities. And so that's that's kind of part of the progress. Now, some of that growth is going to come in the form of a pocket neighborhood. They'll sit in this back lot right back there. The construction started last spring and it's set to be completed in September. So that means no more divots or holes in the road. Your neighborhood reporter in Waco, I'm Dominique Lay.